What's up America? This is Kim with Geographers Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about conceal carry while you're pregnant. I'm about seven and a half months now and I had a lot of people asking me how I still can conceal carry. So the question came up, which one of us would be doing most of the instructing on this particular topic? And of course we thought about it and I would be the choice, I believe. So in the next segment, I am going to teach you exactly what it's like to carry when you're pregnant based on experience. So here we go. So the first trimester was real easy. I just did what I normally did. I was still training, doing my normal stuff. Second trimester, I did have to break up my fat jeans. I had some jeans before I lost weight that I used, and I just used that with my core track line belt. And then the third trimester got a little tricky, so then that's when I had to switch to more of a belly band style. And then I'm going to discuss the importance of the fourth trimester. My carry gun is the XDS 3.3 9mm. Sometimes when I'm not pregnant I do like to switch to a larger gun during the winter and fall season but because I was pregnant and there was already a lot going on I just stuck with my normal gun. The first thing I realized was that carrying in the front of my body did not work. I don't usually like to do that anyway so I'd rather keep how I normally carry which is more in like the four o'clock position but especially with having a belly just adding more Anything more to the front, just you already got this thing sticking out and it just makes it more noticeable and not as comfortable. The first thing I tried was the Tactica, um, it's like a hybrid belly band. And I have a full review of all these products, so if you want to know more about them, um, you can check those out. I'll put the links below, but this one, it goes in the front. And I thought, well, maybe this will work because I can put it under my belly. But it really, it, it just didn't, it didn't, it just stuck out too much. And like I said, it just wasn't very comfortable. And then I even had the idea, I said, what if I turned it to the back? But then even if I carried left-handed, like I, I ordered it, you know, for left-handed and carried it in the back, the angle's just too, too much and I can't reach the gun. So this one was a no-go for that. So there are two belly bands I ended up liking and uh, using the later part of my pregnancy. One is the Crossbreeds, uh, Belly band, it's really cool because it, you can order a special Kydex um, trigger guard part and it completely covers the trigger, which I like. It makes me feel nice and safe. What's great about these is that you can adjust where you want to carry it. You could even wear it in the front. You could wear it towards the side. You can move it all around your body. So it's really nice because you can move it to what feels most comfortable to you. So you, you kind of sandwich it in there and then move it to the place that you like. So I would put it more back here where I can access it still. The one drawback to this holster is that I find it's not very comfortable if you're not wearing an undershirt with it. So when you do wear it, it, it's, it works best if you have an undershirt on. Because there's just some of the edges that are a little, that rub you a little strange and don't feel very good. It is an older model, so I haven't tried the newer one. So I'm not sure if they've improved that since then. But I really like it as far as safety goes and comfort if you wear it with an undershirt. The other option I really like, the Comfort Tack Belly Band. For the price point, these things are really comfortable. They're super comfortable, they're really well made. The one thing that I did do is I do get a get a custom trigger guard made for it because they do have some, some padding in there so you shouldn't be able to get anything in there. But I just like having that security of having a Kydex trigger guard. So I did have that put in where I do have a piece of Velcro that holds it into place. And so once I get it set where I want, has a nice trigger guard, but these things are very comfortable. And just like the other one, you can adjust where you wanna wear it. So it's nice because you can decide what fits most comfortable to you and what works for your body. And they, you know, I'm this one I think is a medium and it fits me, you know, even still now pregnant. So you can get it in different sizes. Um, it works well for a growing belly. <laughs> So how I did this is I would wear, um, you know, I'm lucky that it's in the cooler season. So I often wear like a, a little vest with it or a jacket or something to help cover up the, um, the bulk in the back. Like I said, maybe you're going to find that carrying up front below your belly works, but you have to wear a really, really loose shirt. And, you know, you already got a lot going on up there. So you got to try it and see what works. The one thing I will tell you that I'm really against and I'm still against is I'm not into off body carry, which is when you carry in a purse or a bag. We have a whole video on it. So if you want to check that out, you can see why we're not into off body carry. Um, that's the one thing that I'll say to stay away from. And of course the small of the back and that's where your spine is. Never carry anything there. That's very dangerous. We hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like, a share, a comment. We love to hear from you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Click that little bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. 
And until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six. And once you put this on, what's cool too is that you can adjust it to, you know, wherever you wanna carry. So if you wanted to carry more to the side, you could even wear it in the front. Oh. <laughs>